Hi, my name's Paul Browning. Just had an email from SolarWinds today about a piece of uh, remote management software they've released. Uh, if you go to SolarWinds.com and scroll down on their downloads page, you'll see it. Uh, I use Putty a lot, and it's um, a real, it's like Putty on steroids, basically. Click on Learn More, there's a nice video, and just under that, there's a comparison to how much more this does than uh, Putty. Now, the good news is it's free. You just obviously need to put in your name and email. And I'm not sure if you can opt out of um, newsletters or whatever. I'm going to demonstrate on how to network.com and live Cisco racks. This is a live set of uh, two two racks for uh, Cisco CCNA and CCMP. So this is the topology, and on the right is the actual devices in the data center. And um, I just clicked on a save session I already had from Putty, which had imported, and I'm going to log into my first device. You can um, create sessions and save them, and it's a really handy way of just clicking on this without having to go through all of the heartache of putting in IP addresses and um, protocols that you're connecting with, like Telnet and SSH. So I'm connected to the first device, and I'm logged on to Router 1 on Rack 1. I'll just issue a command here, show version. And then just click on the tab, I'll click on my connection. You, Like I said, you set a new one up, or it'll import the ones that you currently have on Putty, if you have that installed. I'll log into my second device, and um, I'll show you in a moment. It's just so handy for those of you that are doing Cisco uh, connections, uh, you're a student, or uh, any network software, um, also handy for work, where you're logging into multiple devices, doing troubleshooting, and I found with Putty you have to open up multiple Putty sessions in, in multiple windows. So this is my third device. I'm going to connect to a switch this time on rack one. So I'll put my uh, uh, usual credentials in. Uh, this is my switch. And I'll press enter and then I can configure the switch or do whatever I wish. All right, so you can see the command's been issued. What I'll do now is, although it's probably uh, evident from the tabs up here, I'll just tab between the different devices and just show you how easy it is to get your connections all working. Now, these devices are all connected together, but I'm not going to go through um, setting up IP addresses. It's not the point of this video. So I'm on uh, rack uh, one device one now, and I'd obviously do the configurations and connect and uh, compare. If you're interested in live Cisco racks, just come to howtonetwork.com, and we've got two available 24/7 to all members. Thanks for watching.